Guys, before we get started, I'm gonna insert a little Easter egg, something that just happened. If you stick through the whole video, you'll come across it. Write your reaction in the comments because I died. Like literally, I'm dead right now, check my pulse. So today I'm gonna do a video with Jackie Ina's palette with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Ina. There are so many nice colors in there. All the different angles that you look at it, you're just different levels of shook no matter which way you look. Oh my God, I'm a poet and basically Lana Del Rey. So I'm gonna get onto that when I get to my eyes, but first I'm gonna do a little mask and I always forget to like mask. I went and bought this little thing um, a, a few months ago, well, probably like a year ago now, actually, when did they release it? And I love it, okay? I really like it, but I always forget to do it. So I decided to do it now because obviously I'm wearing, if I'm wearing Jackie's palette, I want it to be a really amazing look, so I'm gonna work on my skin. So I'm gonna take my little device. This is like, it's good, you know, if you like to spend money on skincare, it's really good. But if you don't, then it's not good <laughs> because it's expensive. So you just do that. You have to buy the little sheet masks and then you stick it on the UFO. This is by Forego. And you go like this. This is not sponsored or anything, but guys, I would love to work with you because I love all your products. And then you have to get the app. Oh no, the app just shut down. It keeps shutting down. Maybe I need to update it. Sorry. Oh, it has two out of five stars in the app store. Oh well, I'm gonna look at the colors and decide which ones I'm going to do. Wait, what's the one I wanted to try say? Wiggly easy. Wait, no, Jackie told me how to say this because she was laughing about someone else that said it wrong and now I'm really self-conscious that I'm gonna say it wrong. Wiggle say, right? Wiggle say, I'm getting it right. That one. It's a nice shade. So, big wig, mood, so me, so me. Okay, oh, the app is ready. Why do I need a password for a facial app? You gotta take a photo of the barcode on the back of the device once you get into the app. Got it. Secure the UFO activated mask to your device by use a circular motion. Right, it's as going. You gently glide UFO across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. You're coming to the end of your treatment. Take a few more seconds to relax and enjoy and prepare to feel refreshed. Done. And then the little sheet looks really manky, but you take it out. And then I'm gonna add it to my listings on eBay your for some freak to buy. Okay, I'll obviously start with complexion. Charlotte Tilbury has a new foundation, guys. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is what it looks like. It's really nice. See on the back of my hand, it looks like a decent match. First things first though, foundation primer. This one is the Laura Mercier one. Oof, a nice big swig of that. Wow, my skin is so smooth right now. Yes. This is so cute. Look at this little brush, two ends and both sides flat. Let's try. Wow, very tiny brush, but that's how like makeup artists like to do things, don't they? They often use really small brushes that looks like it's so time consuming, and it is. But they get good results, so you might as well utilize some of their techniques. I guess if you have a small brush, you've got like more control. Well, I really like how my skin is looking. Foundation has a really nice coverage. I'm gonna blank out my eyelids with this Bobbi Brown Bone eyeshadow. Had this for a while, should probably throw it out. There are so many alarms in LA, like way more than. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows with Chloe's Brow Wardrobe, guys. There are still some kits left. There's not that many left, so if you wanted to get a kit now, you get all this for 89 bucks. So definitely check it out. I'm gonna start out with the eyebrow pencil. I 
Moving on now, the eyebrows are on. I primed them really quickly before. Now I can finally move on to the main event, the Jackie Aina palette. I'm gonna do something fairly neutral, like not too much color. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna take Supreme. Woo! All right, edges mixed with ginger. They're really nice and pigmented. So I'm gonna tap a little bit off. Gorgeous palette, Jackie. The colors are so rich, really nice and easy to blend. I love the palette. The brush is a little bit scratchy for my eye, to be honest. It doesn't feel as soft as other brushes, I might switch over to something else soon. But I find that all of the Anastasia palettes have the same, same brush, so that's not Jackie. Yeah, I'm gonna move over to my Real Techniques brushes. They just rebranded their brushes, so they're all um, really nice and a new sleek design, so I was gonna try them out. Oh, so much softer. Whew, that feels way better. Sorry, Anastasia, but. I like their other brushes that aren't in the palette. Like they have this great little highlight brush that I love from Anastasia, but the ones in the palette I just never really like too much. Sometimes I pack them for traveling because they're dual ended, but other than that, I'm not really a fan. I will use the other side to pack on some product. I'm gonna take Credit, which is a really nice dark brown, and I'm gonna focus that into the V. Bit more pink on the brush. I'll take pinker. Nice, that's gorgeous. A little bit of that on the edge of the brown. I'll take some of that under the eye as well. I feel like I don't really have a color like pinker. LOL, I said this was gonna be neutral and it's not. I underestimated just how warm the transition shades would be. And on my skin tone, everything is very, very pigmented. Like Jackie obviously designed it to be for her skin tone and it is amazingly pigmented. These two shades are a lot warmer than I wanted. So I tried to cover it up with the pinker and I love the effect, it's just not neutral. So SARS, if you came to this video thinking you were getting a neutral look with the Jackie Anna palette, cause you're not. So, sorry, not sorry. Okay, moving on. Cleaning off my brush. Oh, no, I'll use a fresh brush. I'm not a peasant. Okay, I want to pick a really gorgeous shimmery shade to go as like the little halo pop. I think I'm going to take Soleil. <gasps> so pretty. Wow, that color is so gorgy. Right? I love it. I'm gonna take Zam. Zamna. Zam? Zamna. And I'm gonna enhance the intenseness at the lash line. Ooh, I know. I'm gonna take MAC Fix Plus. Wet the brush. Get more of Zam. I'm gonna make it really intense. Then, wait, let me swatch trust issues. Because I want this to be a gold. Yep, it's a gold. I'm going to take some of trust issues. Okay, I'm going to put this here. <gasps> Ooh. Only bad thing about this is that I'm dirtying up my palette because I didn't clean the brush. And so trust issues already look sturdy. That's my fault. And I also wanted to add trust issues right here. And I'm gonna do a thing with that where I'm like gonna pat it up a little bit higher as well. Just with my finger. I feel like I can't walk away from this look today without putting Shookington somewhere on my eye. Like it is such a gorgeous mid purple that I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add it. And if I mess everything up, sorry. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, Jackie, this shade is the prettiest shade I've ever seen. Jackie took me to Shookington with this palette. It's so beautiful. Wow, look at that color. That just, I feel like, 
took my eyeshadow look from the most beautiful in the world to the most beautiful in the universe. I'm gonna dust some there and bring it up, out and around like that. Oh, that purple is so beautiful. Okay, it's, it's looking messy now because I've like gone and blended it to Shookington and now I need to kind of clean up with like a powder or something. Don't worry, I'm gonna put concealer on. It's gonna get really neat. It's gonna look sexy. I'm gonna put lashes on. You're gonna love it. BRB. Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Let's do one eye at a time. This is the square foundation brush from Cover FX. I'm gonna spread that out. And because it's square, I should be able to use it to like clean up the shadow. See, already that looks way cleaner. Lol at me saying this was gonna be neutral look. Well, I'm just gonna bring it up like that and then I'm gonna rehash everything with a clean blending brush in just a mo. Okay, let me do the other side. Bit of powder, this one is Lancome, Belle de Tom. Proud of myself. I wanted to say Tom, but I didn't. A little bit of matte powder just to soften out those edges a little bit. Oh, I frigging love how there's like that incredible purple out on the edge and then the pink and the gold. Wow. Wow. Like Owen Wilson right now, like wow, wow. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Soleil in the center there, but not too much. I mean on the inner corner there. It's not gonna be like an intense pop. It's kind of just like a, oh, there's some sparkle there. Would you look at that? So I'm gonna take that. I might also add a bit more of the, what's this one called? Wiggle is a trust issues. I just really love what I've done with this today. I've got three eyeliner pencils. I know this is hella technical, but this look is something else. We're gonna put all of our effort and all of our love into it with three eyeliner pencils. And these are Viper from Urban Decay, Delinquent from Urban Decay, and Last Frontier. All right, so this Viper one looks like the right color for me to put on the waterline just to make Shookington pop and be careful not to put it over the gold see how that kind of deepens up the look and makes it more intense i'm gonna take this weird as hell brush it's the rebel edge fine brush it's really weird i'm just gonna use that to soften that out i got this really dark one the delinquent one i'm gonna use that just to lift the outer edge of my eye like I always do. It is a purple rather than a black, so a nice little alternative for a smoky effect. Okay, for mascara, I'm gonna take my Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. I'm trying to use it every time I do my makeup. And then my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, still one of my fave mascaras, it's just so good. I'm gonna take On Point Lashes. These are my Chloe Loves by Ailua. You know, they're kind of dot, so they're thicker in the center. And because all the fun, well, the glitter is in the center, it should kind of give that a little bit of a focus. Okay, I've got my lashes on. So now I'm gonna add the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen, which is fantastic. Guys, it's really, really good. I'm just gonna go over like, right over my lash line so that it's really nice and clean. Okay, now I'm gonna add powder all over my face. This is that Lancome one. Ooh, hair everywhere. I'm gonna take this really cool Real Techniques brush. It's the Rebel Edge Broad. I thought it'd be nice for bronzer. So I'm gonna take this bronzer, it's the Capri Coast or Capri Coast from Becca. Whoa, that bronzer, amazing. And the brush. Then I've got the Whistle While You, Whistle While you Work blush 
from ColourPop's collaboration with Shayla. I thought a nice pink will match the eyes really well. Allergic to weird. Oh no, I really can't have my eyes watering right now. I've got so much happening on my eyes. <laughs> I can feel my eyes all watery. I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna sort this out, and I'll be back. Okay, I think I went outside into my living room where the air is like I guess less filled with makeup, so I think I managed to salvage it, but I had to blow my nose so a bit more powder. I'm gonna use the Kylie Bybel Il Maquillage shades in Bible, Sirius, and Twilight. Guys, her lip products are freaking gorgeous. Like the packaging for one, but then the formulas and the finish, especially of the glosses, I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna start out with the lip liner. The lipstick is the Il Maquillage Sirius. Look how nice the design is up close like stamped on the lipstick, it's so pretty. And I can't tell you how amazing the packaging is. It's just like so kind of heavy duty and the way that it's designed, I just love it. Like I haven't really fallen in love with packaging like this for so long. This is a glass and it's so gorgeous with the frosting, with the white ombre and to show you the shade at the bottom. Like it's so gorgeous, it's so heavy, which might not be a good thing depending on your preferences, but now I'm going to use the lip gloss. Lips on. So I love those three lip colors together. I've worn it quite a few times ever since I went to the launch and got it at Kylie's party. So fun, guys. The eyeshadow is mm, so good. I will link it below so you can get her palette. I really recommend do not mess, miss out on this. And also, Carly Bybel's lip collection with Il Maquillage. Definitely check that out. I've got all the links below. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wish I had somewhere to go, but instead I'll be probably removing this very reluctantly off my face. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I won't take any more of your time. I know you, like me, hate long outros and intros. So thanks and I'll see you soon. Bye. Testing one, two, three. Fuck you in the butt. <laughs> ah. <laughs>